So we've created a grid in the last several videos, but one thing we have not done yet is learn how to nest a grid inside a grid. So that is what we're gonna do in this video. So basically what we're gonna do is put a grid inside this section 10 right here, and we're gonna add three grid items. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's our section 10, so let's go ahead and create some space here, and we'll go ahead and add another div. So actually we can just go ahead and copy and paste this right here, and then we'll just embed it right here. Good. And then let's go ahead and call this nested grid. That is what we'll call this. And we'll add the CSS for this in a moment. And then let's go ahead and add our grid items. And what we're gonna do is just go ahead and create some paragraphs here. So we'll just create a paragraph tag, and let's call this section 10A. And then we'll go ahead and close it. And let's go ahead and just copy and paste this and we'll add two more sections. And we'll make this one 10B. And let's go ahead and add one more and we'll make this 10C. There we go. So we've got our three grid items and we've got our nested grid class right here. So let's go ahead and save this and let's move over to our style sheet. So let's go ahead and create our nested grid class, which is going to be a container, right? It's going to be essentially a container. So we're setting this up just like a normal grid. And we're gonna call this nested grid. And of course, we know the display property is grid. I think we can go ahead and get rid of this comment. We don't need this here. And we can go ahead and same thing, right? As before, as we did up here, we can go ahead and use this grid template columns. Instead of five grid items, we're gonna have three grid items. And let's go ahead and we'll keep the grid gap at 10 pixels, that's fine. We can go ahead and get rid of this comment. And let's make our grid rows 150 pixels, but you can go ahead and tune this to whatever you want, but I'm gonna set it at 150 pixels. And now we need to go ahead and create some code for our paragraphs. And uh, actually, let's just go ahead and copy and paste this code, and we'll come down here. And of course, we did not make classes, so we'll just go ahead and use the paragraph type selector. And we're just gonna give this a border so we can see our grid item. And let's go ahead and make it two pixels wide. We'll make it solid, and we'll make the color white. But again, you can set this to whatever color you want. So let's go ahead and save this up. Now, you might be asking, wait a minute, how come we didn't add a grid column and grid row to our paragraphs? And the answer to that is you don't have to do that if you're keeping all of the grid items the same size. And in that case, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go ahead and keep all three grid items the same exact size for the columns and the same exact size for the rows. Now, down here, of course, in our main grid, we wanted to go ahead and create different sizes. So that's why we use this grid column and grid row. But up here, we're simply gonna go ahead and inherit everything from our container. So our paragraphs will simply inherit what we set in our grid here. And you can do that if that's what you want. If you wanna keep all of your grid items exactly the same, you do not have to actually specify the grid column and grid row property down here. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire this up and let's see what we get. You know what, I forgot to delete that section 10. So let's close this out. And this is what I needed to get rid of. Okay, we didn't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's save it up and now everything should look fine. Let's go ahead and fire this back up and take a look at that. That looks good. But you know what? We want some padding here because we don't want our grid items right up against the edge of our section 10. So let's go ahead and add some padding. And this is kind of what you want to do, by the way. You kind of want to play around with these a little bit to get them sized exactly the way you want. So let's go ahead and add 10 pixels of padding to our container right here. And again, we want to add it to the container because we want our paragraph type selector to inherit all of that padding for each grid item. So let's go ahead and just add some padding here and let's go ahead and give that 10 pixels and then everything should look pretty good. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and rerun this and now everything should look great. And take a look at that, that looks really good. Okay, that's gonna do it for this lecture, thank you.